to the casual visitor in a time when there's not wildflowers, they would think, oh, this is barren, this is desolate, no wonder they call it Death Valley. It looks full of death, <laughs> you know, or it looks, I don't see the life. And the thing about a super bloom is it forces you to realize the abundance of life that is actually here. What makes this year really unique and different is the timing of the rain. And so we have enormous plants that are still going strong. And it's so temporary, so fleeting, um, and you never know when you'll see it again. So it just makes it feel that much more special. So I'm digging down to get as much of the plant as I can. This piece already broke off, so that'll be a piece of my specimen. It's a root parasite. And so this plant is getting all of its nutrients, all of its sugar, it's taking from this plant. It doesn't do any of its own photosynthesis. We only have scraped the surface of what we think we know about these guys. In 2020, 21, 22, climate anxiety was getting the worst of me. I mean, you know, even in the better times, you still feel it, and but it's much more acute when you're like in the middle of drought. The super bloom years are important because they are times when these species can contribute to future generations and really lay down seed into the soil seed bank. Their emergence is evidence of this huge population of seed that lives dormant in the soil. They have so much capacity to withstand these very, very hard times. And some of them aren't going to make it, but some of them make it. We can only throw so much at them though, and we need to do better by them uh, because they do so much for us. They've already taken a lot, they've taken a beating.